Sonny Bill Williams as you've never seen him before. All the fathers respect him. All the daughters want to go out there. I love him and he's going to be my husband one day. The controversies. I feel like I got hung out, hung, hung out to dry, you know. His plans for the future. I love playing league, you know, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not going to sit here and be stupid. Kia ora, I'm Miriam Kamal. Kiwis are pretty good at making heroes from sports stars, and our mates across the ditch aren't too bad at it either. With Sonny Bill Williams arguably the biggest name in rugby league today. He's still only 22 years old, but he's already been called the game's David Beckham. He's never far from the headlines with talk today of his being in a crisis meeting with the Bulldogs. But tonight, for the first time, Sonny Bill Williams opens up to Sonia Wilson about his journey from Mount Albert to sporting stardom. He talks honestly about the controversies that threaten to derail his career and fronts up on whether he'll ever switch codes and come back home. This guy's not just good. Some reckon he's the best. I think he, he was built to, to, to be a star. Look how bad He's six foot three, 108 kg. He's Sonny Bill. Williams, Williams. There's no way you're Okay, so you don't want to buy what a Kiwi chick has to say about Australian rugby league? Well, let me introduce you to some people. This is footy show presenter Matty Johns. He has more of an impact and influence on a game than anyone I've ever seen. Australian league legend Bradley Clyde. A lot of people look up to him. Uh, you know, I look up to him. And Ray Warren, a man who's commentated more league games than I've had hot dinners. And if you've got a Williams in your side, you follow him. He will show you the way. It's almost biblical, isn't it? The shy Samoan Kiwi boy who grew up in Auckland's Mount Albert is now a name so big in Australia. Have hey, you got any more sunny bills over there? We, we could do it with you. He has his own action figure. It's pretty embarrassing, eh? Yeah. Um, I don't think it'll ever be like this. He's not very good, though, is he? Sonny Bill? He's the best. He's the best. I love him, and he's going to be my husband one day. He, he's a very good looking player. All the mothers love him, all the fathers respect him. All the daughters want to go out with him, all the brothers want to drink with him. It might be a good opportunity to have another look at the gym shot of uh, the suitcase. <laughs> so how much of it's natural and how much of it's hard work? All hard work. Yeah, if I, I guess if I didn't train in that, I'd just be a big face. People just think it's the glitz and glamour. And, oh, look, he's on TV. And, you know, he's the, he, he must, must say he's, he's got the best life, you know. Um, it's a lot of hard work that goes into turning up week in, week out for 26 rounds, you know, of tough footy. For Sonny Bill Williams, life has always been about league. It's not the first game he ever played. He uh, got tackled and ran off screaming. So it was like, um, um, come on, I was five years old. So His dad played, played, so did nice. big brother John Arthur. Yeah, he, um, he used to bully me when we were young, so some tabs have turned now. Playing league out in the backyard and on the furniture and scallywags, just normal kids. I can't remember a time when I probably wasn't thinking about footy growing up. He was just 16 when he was plucked from suburbia to join the Bulldogs Club in Sydney. It was tough for a young kid far from home and the work in those early days was far from glamorous. They used to get me up in the grandstand cleaning all the pool off the, off the grandstand and, that, so, and that's when I actually used to see all the boys training there and sit, sit there and think, how was this, yeah? I'd rather be doing that than cleaning the burpee off the chairs. Just two years later, he was running out with the big boys. I was lucky I got to run out, you know, I forgot my boots for the first game. Had to ring my brother up and he, um, he had to go back to go back home and get me a pair of boots just so I could run on the field. That same year, the Bulldogs won the NRL Premiership. The win, grand final, GF first year. His country came calling and Sonny Bill took the field for the Kiwis. Here's a chance, a chance here for Williams and he's over. 
they all just found a place. I was just, I guess, a passenger on the bus, man, with a lot of quality players in the team, yeah? Um, so, I guess that was probably a bit of, um, in my a bit of a bit of a downfall to to an extent because it was so easy in that first year. At just 18, he was on top of the world, but then Sonny Bill got the speed wobbles. Right now is where he comes up with the injury. Injury kept him off the field, but controversy kept him in the papers. You know. I'm totally disappointed in myself and you know for my actions after being done for drink driving he fessed up to an alcohol problem i'll be se seeking professional help with regards to alcohol but now he says he had no other choice did you have a problem with alcohol or were you just not, no not at all um i feel like i got hung out hung hung out to dry you know i didn't want to go and speak to the media and here i am a freaking 20 year old kid and the CEO sits there and says, that's you, what, what are you supposed to do? You, you think, oh, okay, that's the thing to do. You know, just like you've been naughty and you just, that's the fastest way to, to make it right, you know? So, um, you know, looking back now, I'm very pissed off at, at what happened that day when I did come out and say I had a drinking problem because, you know, was, the only problem I had was being naive, you know? Then last year, he was snapped in a hotel toilet with an Australian iron woman. The Aussie media had a field day. Definitely one of the, um, I guess, toughest times of my life. Having to go home and confront my girlfriend, um, seeing her cry and start packing her bags, you know. I just thought, you know, if I just... Now, you know, this is not all what it's cracked up to be. Family getting teased because um, of something stupid that I've done. Walking up home with my girlfriend in cameras outside my house, you know. Yeah, it's just, it was just crazy. He really went through a torrid 18 months. Injury, uh, controversies, but he got through it, you know. And I don't think a lot would have. Controversy, you say? Meet former league great, now world super middleweight champ, Anthony Mundine. From the blue corner! No stranger to fame or controversy himself, and mates with Sonny B. It took Sonny, I felt, a while to to deal with that and, and to come to terms with that. But, you know, now that he, he's finally accepted the the role, he realises that there's, you know, five, six-year-olds in back in New Zealand or back in Samoa that, that look up, looking up to him and, and seeing what, everything that he does. I'm a big believer in learning from your mistakes, man, because I want to be the person that I am right now. So. And that person says his focus is now on his footy and his family. Ah. What do you think that's written in the paper is true? Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. Everything that's on television is there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sonny Bill's mum and the rest of the family get to every game they can. Here's Sonny Bill, great ball for the captain. Have you got the urge to run out and protect him? Or? No. <laughs> I don't think he'd appreciate that too much. Yeah, we ended up in a bit of a bout. It was the first time we've lost, I've lost coming over here. We played um, pretty, uh, pretty sure. Hello. When you're facing a loss, a family barbecue at Nana's house can do wonders. Yeah, they all support um, support me yeah. um, and, the, and the Warriors too. So. Definitely, it's hard. Um, they say to my face when we play them, they go for going for the Bulldogs, but you know. Yeah, and when he goes at the door, we go, Warriors, Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you love the fame? Do you hate it? Or is it something in between? Um, to be honest, I, I hate it, eh? <laughs> I know it's pretty blunt, but I wish you could just play footy and just play footy. But at the same time, I love being able to be in a position where I can help out my family. Last month, both sides of Sonny Bill's family were in Sydney, front row, to watch him run out in the Centennial International Test at the SCG. On the left side, Mohia goes to Sonny Bill Williams. As expected, the Aussies won, but still, it was the Kiwi kid from Mount Albert who came out on top. They idolise him. They idolise the kid. And I'm just a, a mere commentator. I just love going to watch him play. 
Less than 24 hours later, Sonny Bill's supposed to be on the field again for the Bulldogs. But a niggling injury means he's watching from the stands instead. And without Sonny Bill's, it wasn't a heavy camp. They do a lot better when they have Sonny Bill. Because yeah, I got the sense from you that you felt guilty. Yeah, yeah, here, I, you know? I do, I do. Um, it's, you know, fans, like I said, there's some fans see black and white and they say, oh, you know, why isn't he out there, you know, he's, well, he's you know, soft and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I've got to, I'd rather be out for one week and then I can play next rather than out for five, so. Even carrying injury, there's little rest from professional footy's gruelling regime. Time off is spent at his modest flat where he lives with long-time girlfriend Jenna. A barbecue. Barbecue? Is he a good cook? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love uncle? Yeah. Or at the big house he bought for his family. I have all my friends back in New Zealand to see this. They all know this is true. I, I do the dishes all the time. Uh, it's quite Sonny. a tea towel, Johnny. Tony's called a uh, stand-in something to do his uh, dishes. Sonny Bill Williams may now almost be a league veteran, but he's still only 22 years old. Sports stardom has forced him to grow up very publicly and very quickly. I'm 22 now and I feel like I've got a 30-year-old head on my shoulders. So. He's now being seen as a role model for other young Polynesian players. I think they've been waiting for someone like Sonny to come along. You know, he's got the guts to say what he thinks. He's outspoken, he's opinionated, so uh, I, think, I think it's a tremendous thing, you know. Um, you know, occasionally it might dig him into a bit of controversy, but uh, yeah, I've got no problem with that and I think he's big enough to take it. To me it's not about being a role model or mentor or anything like that, it's just about being a good bloke and passing on my, my past experiences to, to the younger boys coming through because sometimes, you know, it's a cruel world out there and you know, a lot of these boys are real young and easily influenced. I just just, just um, trying to help them out wherever I can, you know. He may have left school early to pursue league, but Sunbill is now back in class, learning the language of his father's country. Also, Tornati is Saturday, and Tauruma is game. It's a game on Saturday. Just want to be able to speak it, I guess. And just to show that I am definitely proud of where I come from, not just all show with the tattoos. So. So the Williams on your back is in case you get lost? Yeah, the Williams is in case I get lost. <laughs> that was for you, Grandma. As for the future, let's try and clear something up here. The All Blacks should sign Williams up, urging the ARU to put in a call to Williams. It's clear he thinks the current origin eligibility rules are a farce. I'm through and through Kiwi and proud Kiwi. So would you give up your right to play for New Zealand, to play State nah, of Origin? No way. Where do your loyalties lie? Are they with the Bulldogs? Are they with New Zealand? Or are they with Sonny Bill Williams? Oh, well, definitely they'll have to be with, um, you know, myself and my family first and foremost. Um, you know, I love playing for the Bulldogs. I come through the grades and that. I love playing league, you know, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not going to sit here and be stupid, you know. If someone comes and offers me double what I'm on, you know, of course I'm going to sit down and seriously look at it. So, uh, you know, I've, I've definitely got to look after myself first and foremost. Sonny Bill is contracted to the Bulldogs for another four years. The club and the sport itself could certainly do without losing one of the biggest names in the game. He's developing into a leader whether he likes it or not. He may be the best player ever to come out of New Zealand. I don't think we should put too much um, pressure you know, on, a, on a rough diamond. You know what I mean? So, you, know, you don't want to crack it. You don't want to make it come out nice and polished. I think you know that can be the, go the way if if we let him be Sunny B. One of my major goals off the field is to conduct myself in a way that kids or well, parents are proud to say, "Oh yeah, look, he wants to be like Sunny B Williams." Yeah, um, he, that's I'd love my son to be like Sunny B Williams. Yeah, so I guess if you keep keep it simple and stay in that frame of mind, you know, you'd be alright.